after receiving over an inch of rain throughout this Easter weekend throughout the sunrise side. Now going into your Monday, it is no, noticeably cooler, but also still gloomy. We did receive a cold front yesterday, knocking temperatures about a good 15 degrees from your Sunday, but about a good 30 degrees from what we were seeing back on your Saturday. Looking at those readings, 37 degrees in Roger City, 42 in Alpena, 46 in West Branch. So the further south you go, a little bit warmer. But looking at those winds, that northerly flow along the shoreline has kept it a little bit chillier the further east you go. 9 in Roger City, 10 in Alpena, a little bit more out of the northeast at 13 in Oscoda and Tawas. But if you go inland, a little bit different story as it comes out of the south or out of the southeast at 8 in Mayo, 10 in in West Branch. Looking at the radar, we have been dealing with a couple of those spotty showers throughout your Monday afternoon, especially further south you go into Oscoda, Tawas, Rose City, and Glenny. And we could still have a couple rounds of those showers pushing through early on into the evening, but we will begin to see more improvements as we go deeper into the overnight hours. Now going into your Tuesday and your Wednesday during the daytime hours, we'll have partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. Now for tomorrow night though, we will introduce another round of showers pushing through very light though, about a 30% as we deal with a new disturbance pushing through going into your Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning. But the one to really look out for is the one that's going to be coming in on your Wednesday night going into your Thursday. That one will bring another soaking into the sunrise side. And with the recent rains we have seen the last couple of weeks, concerns for flooding are becoming more and more of an issue. So remember, turn around, don't drown, especially on Thursday, as we could be dealing with some heavy downpours. Good news though, it's still early in the week, so we're gonna monitor how this disturbance will develop. Now going into tonight though, we are going to begin to see less and less, less clouds throughout the sunrise side, especially as we go into the early to mid overnight hours. But by the time we go towards tomorrow, we'll increase those clouds once again as cold front number one pushes through late tomorrow night into your early Wednesday. You can see 30% chance of rain on your Tuesday night. And by the time we go into your Wednesday, we'll have partly sunny skies before system number two comes in. That one's going to bring a 70% chance of rain on your Thursday. Good news for the weekend, though. It is looking to be pretty nice out there, even though temperatures are going to be a bit cooler than what we've seen recently, only in those 50s.